welcome back to this Koi Pond build. This is just going to be a quick update as I'm trying to upload a video each week so keep you guys up to date. Um, just before I start, there's um, a person I do want to do a shout out to. I've been meaning to do it for quite a long time and I just ain't got around to it so this is the time for me to do it and that's Ben and um, you know you are Ben. I just want to say a big thank you because you're the guy that's helped me through the doing these videos sort of thing. He's the one who started me off doing it, showed me, told me what to do and how to do this. So he's got his own YouTube channel. It's called Let's Review It. It's um, mostly about motorbikes. So if you're into to motorbikes, definitely look look at him, look him up because it's just outstanding. <laughs> All right. So back to this pond. Um, I've been having a lot, a lot of questions again again about the structure I'm sure I've gone over it so I'm going to go through that again with you guys and I'm going to show you what I've done today um, I did a little bit with the rebars but I got sent the wrong rebar so I'm getting some more delivered I've, I ordered 10 mil rebars and it got delivered 12 mil so I struggled getting it in as you, you're going to see I'm going to put that video up in a bit um, well, I'm going to go through some of this now. I'm going to look, show you this video of me doing the rebar now. So I've drilled through now. Um, now this is 12 mil. I did, did order 10. But well, I didn't find out, so I drilled the other now. Let's drill it again. So, with my 12 mm uh, rebar, of all I've got is a thumb hammer. Uh, all I'm going to do. As you can tell, my neighbours love me. that now I'll go through the structure of this if you've been following me all this time you noticed when I started I had just the two layers of sleepers now the sleepers I ordered they're the lengths of 2.4 meters and the width is 125 mil and that's 250 mil so that's my sleepers um, and then back to saying that I had the two layers when I first started I just had the two layers um, but in that I bought 1.5 meter rebars to go all the way around the pond just for here but now I've got another level of sleepers going on I've ordered just meter lengths just to go around as well so that's that should be well, it should owed, hopefully, fingers crossed. If, you, if you're thinking of doing a sleeper pond yourself, there's some things I would advise you, and that's the rebar, uh, the locking in nuts, uh, bolts or coach, coach screws, whatever they're called. I bought 200 mil ones, quite long ones, so that's holding all this into place. And for me they were just a lifesaver they helped me well they're strong and they just helped me all feel this from being it's just they were just brilliant so I'm gonna put a link in because if you're wanting to build it this sleep on I'll put a link in for them um, the website is indoor outdoor but I'll put a link in the description for them because they were brilliant for me so 
I'll put a link into them. Um, other than the rebar, I've got my level point on this side for my negative and my negative. So there it is, I'll dump some of that out. Um, I've got some questions with the skimmer. I'm going to get a skimmer, but I don't know if to then to put the skimmer in and then pump feed it or gravity fed my skimmer. And my setup, I've changed it finally. <laughs> I know people are going to be saying we told you. But yeah, the setup I had, it's pretty difficult to be fair. It's The balancing is going to be a nightmare. So I've kind of looking into it a lot more and I'm changing it now because getting it balanced with the pumps and the, I have a, it, would have, it would have had a balanced pipe, but it's still quite difficult to balance out. So here it is. <laughs> my setup now. Is going to be the bottom drain going to the Nexus 320, and the Nexus 320 is going to be doing its own thing, and then coming back in in a UV, and then back in um, the sieve. I'm going to put the um, the skimmer on, and then from the skimmer, I'm going to go into the sieve, and then the sieve run down, maybe into a back backy shower, and then back in. So that's my setup, and hopefully that's final now. Um, another question I want you guys to comment on, because I need you guys to tell me what you think, is a window. Should I get a glass window for this pond? It's going to slow the process down getting it, and it's going to be more faffing about, or should I, just, should I just get the pond started and going, not through the window? But the uh, uh, the rewards for me f to get the window it it, it's, it would have been both in my opinion but then I'm just wanting this pond doing done really so there's that um pipe work I'm still waiting on it's it was just it's just been a nightmare waiting for the piping so two days ago I've ordered some more and hopefully. I've ordered it from somewhere different, so hopefully that can come sooner. I oh, know that's just, it's just been a pain, so hopefully it comes anyway. <laughs> okay. So I did have a friend tell me he said he said, "Oh, your videos are really good. The only problem I have is you do too many thumbs up." <laughs> Sorry, Terence. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I just want to as well say a big thank you to everyone. It's it's thanks to you guys that it's just incredible that last week I was saying I was I think 11 away from 200 subscribers now I think I'm over 300 there's a week just over a hundred subscribers so thank you guys and just keep in tune and keep the thumbs up because I'm I'm so grateful and if you're new to the channel if you like subscribe and if you like it, give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, give me the thumbs down. But yeah, guys, thank you very much. And I'll see you again on the next part. So thank you.